all, today I will be teaching you how to create a basic rehashing designer using X Package and X360. X360 was created by DJ Shepard and it was written in C Sharp. X Package was created by Matt the Seahawk of Game Tuts and the owner of UndergroundCoding.com, written in C Sharp. So I originally made this tutorial about 10 minutes ago, but I forgot my mic wasn't plugged in. Derp. So I'm just going to start back over. Okay. So you need to add three labels, three text boxes, and two buttons. Name them open and then rehash and resign. Net for the labels, name it profile ID, console ID, and device ID. Then add three corresponding text boxes text boxes to the labels. Excuse me. Um, and then after that you want to add the references in the description or components or DLLs, whatever you prefer to call them, X360 and X Package. Once you have them added as your references, you can start to begin. So let's write to the open button. First we need to create a new open file dialog. Dim OFD as new open file dialog. So now let's write the button or the thing that will read the IDs. So dim stfs as new package OFD dot file name stfs or actually no text edit one dot text equals stfs dot profile id text edit two dot text equals stfs dot console id text edit three dot text equals stfs dot device id so once you have that done what this basically does is it reads these three ids from the STFS package. It reads profile ID, profile ID, console ID, and the device ID into these text boxes right here. Okay? So let's just give that a try. Oh, I forgot to show the open file dialog. OFD.show. That's a new move of me. Oops, have to restart. See, much better. And it reads the IDs. Alright, no rehash and resign yet. Okay, so dim stfs as new stfs package of d.file name nothing. Okay, so this is the part where we'll be implementing X360. Um, this part is using X package to read the IDs because normally I would use an IO, but it's the day after Christmas and I'm feeling lazy. So let's write this rehash and resign function stfs.flush package new RSA params. Now normally you should um, add the KV to your uh, resources, but I'm not doing that. I don't know why. Just not KV dot bin. So if this part gives you an error, you need to go to your debug folder and then drag and drop the KV into there. And it should work. Now let's just put this in try statements message box dot show ex dot message message box dot show Done.
the sloppy code. So let's give that a try. Reads the IDs, fine. Oh, look at that. You now have a fully working rehash and resigner. Now, since I do have a little bit of time left, I guess I'll try and show you guys how to read the file table of an STFS package. So, uh, let's, let's, add it, uh, let's add some tabs. And I'm using Dev Express, by the way, so if you don't have Dev Express, just use the Windows tab or .NET bar, because I know a lot of people don't have Dev Express. So, all right. Um, let's name this general, and let's put our buttons back. Sorry for working so slow. Just want to get it right, and then file. Oops, no. File table. Now let's add a list view. Where is that bugger? Now we're going to read the the title of it or oops. The title, the block and the offset. Title block offset. Title Block uh, Offset Shoot, can't find the bugger. Okay, there we go. Uh, I couldn't find the, uh, the, uh, view, the view setting for the, uh, list view. Couldn't find it. So, uh, let's rearrange this to the way we need it. So let's go back to the open button. Um, dim STFS has new STFS package. OFD.file name nothing. Um, for each um entry in stfs dot um, 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 um file directory um entry or actually no dim item as new was view item entry dot And uh, sub items dot add entry dot block block count items dot or oops item item dot sub items dot add entry dot um, directory offset. Let's 
list view one dot items dot add item. So now the file table will read into that list view. What this basically does, it initiates a new list view item, and then this is the name of the um, whatever is in the file table. This is the block count, and then this is the offset. So let's give this a shot. Open. Oops, didn't show. Whoops, that's not right. Actually, no, let me undo that. Hmm. Dev Express is so screwy sometimes. Okay. Um dim STFS one as new STFS package of the dot file name nothing. STFS one. There we go. Should be no errors. Yep, perfect. See? Alright. Read the ID still. And we'll get that. Read the file table. And I don't know how to create an extract or inject function for the file table, so I apologize for that. And see. Oops. I don't know why the. Code is switching. That's really, really weird. But it should all work now. ID, 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 rehash and resign done. And file table. There we go. Alright, thanks for watching. And don't forget to register at GameTouch and UndergroundCoding.com.